Hey yo, many fish. Shabbat shalom again. Can't help it. Go on drudge. And I have to, I'm going to use this to illustrate, or to try and illustrate, how the Father shows me what the flesh really is. What we really are, and why we're here, and subsequently, who he is. So, of course, once again, I'm on drudge. And I see over here, Summer of Love turns 50. Got the image here, Woodstock, 50, you know, this is significant in the Christian world. We just had the, the Fatima, which I'll probably do a video on that too. Uh, we have a Jubilee, 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 Jubilee going on. The Pope's got all kinds of things, you know, he's celebrating in his world this year. You know, and Christians too, it's significant in the, the Jubilees. We, we do pay attention to those and... You know, there's a lot of, of things centering around, you know, this year. Everybody knows it, you know, spiritually and so on. So this image, Summer of Love turns 50. So I, you know, I go to the, the article and it's more or less just, uh, you know, just fluff kind of how cool was it to be in the 60s, all the psychedelic stuff. And that's all it is. And that image isn't there. So I do my little, you know, thing, and I find myself a nice image of it, and I pull it in, and I'm saying, why am I looking at this? Where have I seen this? And it just hit me. Now, this is like, I hate saying it's supernatural, but that's what it is, because I don't know how else I'm led to see these things. But this very image right here brought me back to a video a study and so forth that I was doing a few months ago on the mural in the Sistine Chapel called the Final Judgment and man you look at this this is Lucifer coming through his arch that's what it is I don't know what you've been told or taught but that's what it is and this whole image is the wall of the Sistine Chapel this is where the Pope is voted in by the bishops and stuff. And right in this room, in front of this mural, called the Final Judgment. And in the center of it is Lucifer entering through his arch. There's a million different things, and I will do a video specifically on this mural. But look at this image of Lucifer and the Virgin and all the goings-on. And just tell me... That that isn't just absolutely mind-boggling. That is a perfect mirror image with the hand gesture. Everything. That is freaky deaky. And that is how the Father reveals to me Lucifer's presence. So that I can understand it, not follow Lucifer's little games and mystery sleuths following numbers and gematria all over creation to no fruit, but to refer back to the word of God and in prayer. And he reveals the secrets so that we can know him and his power and his will for us. Which is beautiful. Not only that. Now watch when I take the image. Okay. And I flip it. Flip it. Um, horizontally. You know what I mean. Watch. Take the image. If I can get my little list here. There we go. And I'll flip it. Horizontally. Alright. Now look, I just got like a quiver, shiver kind of a thing, man. I am telling you right now, I will say it. This is supernatural. This is, this is me showing you, not me showing you. This is the Father showing me showing you. <laughs> all, all glory to God. Now what this means, well, 
I could come up with many, many, many things. I really could. And maybe I'll, I'm going to do videos, but I, I really got to be careful from this point forward because this is serious stuff. Something's going down, as we all know, and we got to be ready. So you know, we don't want to waste any time. And if you didn't know, this mural also is the image. It says, when I learned this, I my jaw, I had to scrape it off the ground is also the image of the beast. It's his eye, it's his eye, it's his nose, and this is his open mouth. Watch when I invert the colors. You can see him better. See him now? The eye, the nose, the mouth. That's the dragon, and he's sitting in the Vatican. This is how I see and how I share with you so that you might understand the, the darkness we're up against and know that in Christ, he's nothing to you. You have a redeemer and a savior. Seek him out with a humble heart. Peace and grace to you all, many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,